Good evening and welcome to evening prayer for St. Per Peter's Episcopal Church virtual service. Today is October 2nd, 2020. We invite you to join us every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 6 p.m. for evening prayer, at 8 p.m. for Compline on Tuesday and Thursdays. And then on Sunday, our principal services at 9 o'clock, we are regathering in the courtyard very safely and protected, and we share communion there. Uh, we continue to have a virtual service with music and all the bells and whistles at 11 o'clock. You can find that via our Facebook page or via our YouTube page. Our service begins today on page 116 in the Book of Common Prayer, page 116 at the top. If I say, surely the darkness will cover me and the light around me turn to night, darkness is not dark to you, O Lord. The night is, is as bright as the day. Darkness and light to you are both alike. Confession continues on page 116. Let us confess our sins to God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess, confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness. And by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Amen. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to, to the, the Father, Father, and to the, the Son, Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Top of page 118, please join me in reciting the Gracious Light Canticle. O oh, Gracious Light, pure, pure brightness, brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O oh, Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the best of light. We sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Psalm 107, found on page 746 of the Book of Common Prayer. Verses 1 through 32. Let us say it together responsibly by alternate verse. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, and his mercy endures forever. Let all those whom the Lord has redeemed proclaim that he redeemed them from the hands of the foe. He gathered them out of the lands from the east and from the west, from the north and from the south. Some wandered in the desert waste. They found no way to a city where they might dwell. They were hungry and thirsty. Their spirits languished within them. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them from their distress. He put their feet on a straight path to go to a city where they might dwell. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his mercy and the wonders he does for his children. For he satisfies the thirsty fills the hungry with good things. Some set in darkness and deep gloom, bound fast in misery and iron. Because they rebelled against the words of the Lord and despised the counsel of the Most High. So he humbled their spirits with hard labor. They stumbled, and there was none to help. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them from their distress. He led them out of the darkness and deep gloom and broke their bonds asunder. For them give thanks to the Lord for his mercy, and the wonders he does for the children. For he shadows the doors of the bronze, and breaks in two the iron bars. Some were fools and took to rebellious ways. They were afflicted because of their sins. They abhorred all manner of food, and drew near to death's door. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them from their distress. He sent forth his word and healed them, and saved them from the grave. 
Let them give thanks to the Lord for his mercy and the wonders he does for his children. Let them offer a sacrifice of thanksgiving and tell of his acts with shouts of joy. Some went down to the sea in the ships and plied their trade in deep waters. They beheld the works of the Lord and his wonders in the deep. Then he spoke, and a stormy wind arose, which tossed high the waves of the sea. They mounted up to the heavens and fell back to the depths. Their hearts melted because of their peril. They reeled and staggered like drunkards, and were at their wit's end. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them from their distress. He stilled the storm to a whisper, and quieted the waves of the sea. Then they were glad because of the calm, and he brought them to a harbor they were bound for. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his mercy and the wonders he does for his children. Let them exalt him in the congregation of the people and praise him in the council of the elders. Glory to the Father, and to the and Son, Son, and, and to the, the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. Our scripture reading today is from the Gospel of Luke. Chapter 6, verses 12 through 26. During these day, those days, he went out to the mountain to pray and spent all night in prayer to God. When daylight came, he summoned his disciples, and he chose twelve of them. He also named them apostles. Simon, whom he also called named Peter, and Andrew his brother, James and John, Philip and Bartholomew, Matthew and Thomas, James the son of Alphaeus, and Simon called the Zealot, Judas the son of James, and Judas Iscariot, who became a traitor. After coming down with them, he stood on a level place with a large crowd of his disciples and a great multitude of people from all Judea and Jerusalem, and from the sea coast of Tyr and Sidon. They came to hear him and to be healed of their disease, and those tormented by unclean spirits were made well. The whole crowd was trying to touch him, because power was coming out of him and healing them all. They looked up at his disciples. He said, Blessed are you who are poor, because the kingdom of God is yours. Blessed are you who are hungry now, because you will be filled. Blessed are you who weep now, because you will laugh. Blessed are, the, are you when people hate you, when they exclude you, insult you, and slander your name as evil, because of the Son of Man. Rejoice in that day and leap for joy. Take note, your reward in, is great in heaven, because this is the way their ancestors used to treat the prophets. But woe to you who are rich, because you have received your comfort. Woe to you who are full now, because you will be hungry. Woe to you who are laughing now, because you will mourn and weep. Woe to you when all people speak well of you, because this is the way their ancestors used to treat the false prophets. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our service continues on page 120. The canticle, The Song of Simeon. Please join me. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and it will be forever. Amen. Let us recite the words of our faith as found in the Apostles' Creed, also on page 120. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will, he will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, 
the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us recite Suffrage's Prayer A. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. And let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon the earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Collect the day is Proper 21, found on page 233 of the Book of Common Prayer. Sorry, 234 of the Book of Common Prayer. O God, you declare your almighty power chiefly in showing mercy and pity. Grant us the fullness of your grace, that we, running to obtain your promises, may become partakers of your heavenly treasure. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Collect for Friday is found on page 123. Lord Jesus Christ, by your death you took away the sting of death. Grant to us, your servants, that are following faith where you have led the way, that we may at length fall asleep peacefully in you and wake up in your likeness for your tender mercy's sake. Amen. A collect for protection on page 124. O God, the life of all who live, the light of the faithful, the strength of those who labor, and the repose of the dead, we thank you for the blessings of the day that is past and humbly ask for your protection through the coming night. Bring us in safety to the morning hours, through him who died and rose again for us, your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. O God, you manifest in your servants the sign of your presence. Send forth upon us the spirit of love, that in companionship with one another, your abounding grace may increase among us, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I invite you to offer up intercessions, and thanksgivings either aloud or in your heart. Tonight we ask you to lift up Chandler, Guy, and Bob, Janet, and Father Young, Steve and John. Liz, Kay, Peggy, for safe travels. We thank you for Cody Blackman as guest lecturer. We thank you for the ability to have these virtual services, even though we're not allowed to come together. We ask you to be with those who are on the front lines of the COVID-19, healthcare workers, supermarket workers, delivery people. Be with members of law enforcement and those who protect us. Be also with those who seek justice in this nation. We ask you to be with our leaders during these stressful times. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Please recite with me the general thanksgiving found on page 125. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace, for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that we're truly thankful in hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in 
holiness, and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit, the honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us tonight. Be safe. Be well. God bless you all. Good night.